2020 was a year. That's all I'm going to say. All right. It was a year and had its ups and downs. But the way I remember uh, 2020, I remember it by my videos, right? I was thinking about making either like a best of Master Eth or a Master Eth at a context compilation. And, I, and then I was like, no, <laughs> let's not do that. We're just going to look through some of these. We're not going to watch all the way through, but we're just going to browse it. And I'll give like a little bit of commentary here and there. I think it'd be fun to like wrap up the year side channel video. This should be the last video of the side channel but honestly i think uh we ended off the year with a bang with this 30 minute video and i didn't feel like i should make you know another another video you know especially when this one is so long so it's like i didn't really want to tarnish that so the first first video of the uh of 2020 it was in january it was january 8th i made a video about tubers uh me and mri have been friends for so many years at this point right so it was really cool to make a video about this especially because i don't know if you knew this but i was actually uh, on set i actually recorded an episode of tubers and i don't know if anybody knew that but if you watch the credits of like the newest episode um yeah i'm in there so this was this is so weird i feel like that this was created last year not this year and that's my old gems of the internet setting and yeah no honestly like it was really cool i i was really happy to make this video uh because i genuinely love the series if i if i didn't like the series and i didn't think it had potential i wouldn't make a video about it but i understood that like there was a lot of hard work and effort put into this right and so I think it's I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool, and I I think that more people should watch it, like you. But yeah, no, honestly, like it was a lot of fun to make this video for sure. I I actually got to meet all the cast. You know, everybody was super nice, dude. Everybody like it was it was a very not homely because I I use that word wrong. It was a very it was a very good experience for sure. And I want to go back. I wanna I want to meet all all my internet friends again because they were so nice, dude. Cause I only spent like a, like a weekend down there, but it was, it was great. I loved it. So yeah, no, definitely, definitely a gems of the internet for sure. I think we kicked off the year with a bang with this video for sure. And I don't think I have anything more to say on the matter. So let's, so let's continue. The unravel video that doesn't, I feel like that wasn't this year. I really, February. Okay. This is where I started doing more and more like green screen type stuff and I don't like this video anymore purely because like it's just a red background <laughs> like there's nothing special about it you know and so I don't really like it all that much anymore purely because of that you know I liked my coffee talk video more than this only because like there was a different background oh 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 this I, I was actually playing uh uno with some friends I think this is actually from one of my friends videos there's like a full video of us playing uno and it's actually really really fun it's in my collaborations playlist i don't think i have anything to say i think unravel is a very good game it, it's one of the more popular indie games so i'm like eh but i think it was a good uh video some criticisms about this video were that the intro uh lasted way too long and i think that's fair but i was also getting to a point in my writing where i was like i kind of wanted to to try new things with intros because I don't want my creativity getting stale so there's that um, but I think it I think it was a I think it was a good video uh, for the time I was really really proud of it <laughs> um, I was talking a lot I, I did the intro about the video game launchers because I don't I don't think anybody was really talking about like video game launchers so i wanted my introduction to be like oh everybody knows about video game launchers and then we'll slowly transition into the game and that's kind of how i went about it because i i could have made a video about video game launchers but that's not really what my creativity is about i talk about like indie projects that people do not really um opinionated video essays my friends do those <laughs> i don't do those so I was like, I, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no, it was, I don't really have anything to say, quite honestly. I don't think there's anything specific um, about this. I just love the art style of the game. I think it really st st stood out to me. And I was like, dang, why, why aren't people playing this? 
I think it actually got an, a game award. Don't quote me on that, but it probably did. I don't know though. Not 100% sure. But yeah, those are the developers. I love those guys. They're Swedish, I think. I don't know. Let's move on. All right, so now we have the coffee talk video. This video haunts me to this day. I hate this video only because, okay, here, 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 listen. Whether it be regarding the product, the reviews, or the customers. Okay, so my mistake was using a lav mic. It's right here, I think. And I was like, oh, cool. Now I can talk with my hands. Problem is, this mic is way better than any lav mic ever. So you could hear the sound quality just like decreasing, which sucks because I think this is one of my favorite videos I did this year because this was the first time where I wanted to be like a character in the world rather than be somebody talking about a game. And I liked that direction, but I hate this video and it's not in my best videos playlist purely because of the audio. And I so badly did not want to re-record. And part of me wishes I should have. I should have re-recorded, even though I would have been mad the entire time and the video would have been worse. The initial bet is like, ew, but like your brain gets used to the audio and then it's like, okay, I guess it's decent, but it's, it's not my best audio work. I'm not going to lie. I hate it for that aspect. Every other aspect, I love this video, but I cannot watch it because it hurts my soul. It hurts my very soul, right? Because I use this microphone for a client, right? And it sounded good. And I'm like, dang, this microphone sounds good. So I'm like, oh, I've already tested it out. So I'm going to do it on my own video. And never again, I'm never using a lav mic for my video. I can't. Although the video was way more immersive, like it wasn't as good and product wise. It was immersion versus practicality, I guess, because you're way more immersed when I'm not holding a microphone, right? But audio suffered. Hey, there's my friends. Let's freaking go. Wait, what am I talking about in this portion? Be drawn by hanging out at a friend's house. Oh, okay, Except yeah. instead of real people in a private place, it's fictional. That's a Wormy Christmas reference. If you understand Wormy Christmas, I am very proud of you and also kind of shocked because that was like two years ago. But no, I love this game and I love the, the humor that I did in this. I just hate the audio. The audio hurts me. The audio hurts my soul. And that's about it. Like I love literally every single thing. I literally separate, separated this out in a spoiler, spoiler free. I think this is the first time I did like the, um, the, the timestamps, I, I think. So that ended up being, I don't know. I love, <laughs> I think this, this portion. That was pretty funny. Said, but he didn't give me specific instructions. So oh yeah, and I also I cleaned up the audio best I could, but like it, it was barely salvageable. I should have re-recorded. But I'm a dumb big idiot. So there's that. But uh no, I think that's all I have to say about that. It's a good video. I just hate it because of the audio. This is a way better version of the coffee talk video where I don't hate myself because the audio is actually good. Alright. Oh cool. I've always wanted to be black. If one remember Okay, so funny story about this intro bit, right? So basically, right? I, this, I made this joke because I went to my brother and I'm like, hey, is this a funny joke? And I said the joke and he, start, and he starts dying. And so he's like, yes. So I included it in the video. And I'm pretty sure like a month-ish later is when the whole George Floyd thing happened and nobody like picked up on this. And it was, and the funny thing is like, it had nothing to do with that situation. It was just an offhanded joke. Like I'm literally black, like that's the joke. And it's like, oh cool, you know? And it's like this offhanded thing. And I'm surprised more and more people haven't pointed it out. Again, it had nothing to do with that situation, but like I made this video and then like a month later, like that situation died, wreckful died. And it's like, dang, dude, it was weird. It was a weird experience. And like, I wasn't alluding to it because it didn't even happen at the time. But now I look at this video and I'm like, I can only think of that situation, which sucks because because that's not what it's supposed to be. But I guess I'm the only one, right? I didn't think too much of it because one, it's a joke. And two, it was it wasn't referring to any any situation whatsoever. But it was just funny to me because it's like, oh, that didn't age too well. I don't know. I don't think that joke aged well because like a month later, stuff went down and it's like, yikes. Um. But no, it had nothing to do with that situation whatsoever, which is good. Um, that wasn't what I was alluding to. Even if you match up the dates, it's very obvious that 
this joke was made like months before the situation so it's like it had nothing to do with it it was just it was just i think it aged poorly besides that i i took the idea of my coffee talk video and was like okay how can i be a person in this world well if the character is in a sign i'm gonna be in a sign and i think i think this is my favorite video this year because i really innovated right i really went for that immersive thing where i had like I, I love this video's editing because it's like I'm, I'm moving across the screen, you know, it makes sense because I'm a sign. This video is about uh, a guy walking through signs, right? And it's 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 a fun time and I love it and I think it's great. I think it's pretty cool and I don't think I have anything more to say on it. And by the way, if you are seeing uh, all of these, I recommend anybody check out any of these things that I'm making videos about, please. Uh, you you will get a way better experience than just watching my video just saying uh, but like I don't know if I make a video about something it's gonna be good like objectively that's that's really what I try to go for dictionary of obscure sorrows so uh, this is one of those situations where the creator did not reach out to me purely because I think he's done with the the dictionary of obscure sorrows and the thing with this video is that I actually did a I shattered I said this at the end actually let me let me just play it pages of these obscure words that i haven't even glanced at yet nor felt the need to list every single one uh, because i have an idea nice. i'm going to be streaming all of the obscure sorrows on twitch tonight to see if okay and then so like five people joined and this video has 400 views that is a bruh moment i just can't convert I make videos, you know, I put stuff in the description. Nobody checks out anything in the description. What the frick? I have I have so much stuff in the description of all my videos, and it never converts. Probably because I don't directly call it out. Hey, subscribe to the main channel. See? There. There's your call out. I hate doing that, too. That's why I never do it in main videos, because it just destroys creative integrity, and I hate it. And it just ruins the flow. I, I don't like ending videos like that, so I don't. Anyways, besides that, like, there were a few people that joined the live stream that night, and dude, it was so much fun to do. It's uh, it's on my side channel. It's on this channel, I should say. Um, the full VOD to that. It was a fun experience. Uh, I learned I learned some stuff about myself, which was good and very productive. This was the one special thing about this video specifically, is that, like, it was connected to, like, a live stream. And I want to do more stuff like that. Not exactly like that. But I think in the future, I want to do like more creative stuff with my videos, like after the video, like, you know, being in discord on the voice call, which I've done a couple times or like doing something special like this. And I think it was fun. It was it was good. Um, I think the dictionary of obscure sorrows is one. It, there's a lot of content with it, but it's good. I definitely check it out, especially if you're one that wants to learn more about yourself in general. And then we have the Oneros video, which is which is this video except game wise you know in a weird way uh this one this one was interesting because i did i did zero face cam for this video if anybody noticed and i did that on purpose because i wanted this video to really focus on the game right i did this with my um beginner's guide video which also didn't have face cam because the whole point of this game is like you're a first person uh person you know going in the world and everything right and so it was really really cool to kind of match that with the editing which is what i love to do i love to take a concept and then match the editing with that style i did it with beginner's guide i did it with this one and i don't know it was a lot more fun to edit because it was different and i had to like really think hard on what portions i wanted to uh to do no it was it was a fun experience i i really liked it i, I also love walking simulators so there's that too there, I, I think there are a lot of like black screens in this video because I'm I, there are portions where I'm like I don't know I don't know what to add here, but no I I, lo I love this video. Uh, one of my uh, one of my friends I published this video and like a week ish later, I went to like lunch with him or whatever, and he was like, dude, I was I, he was he was like at work and on, on his lunch break or whatever like at work. So we were talking, we were at lunch and we were talking and he was talking about being at work getting lunch or whatever and he's like so i saw your notification i watched it uh or i clicked on it and he saw that it was like 20 minutes long and he's like oh okay i'll watch a little bit of it and he said he was like glued to a screen 
and he watched the entirety of it, which made my day, and I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right here. Then again, he is one of my friends, but it was just very, very nice. Oh, also, the soundtrack is good. I like that. I still like the song. But yeah, no, it was it was a good it was a good experience. I, I love this game even still. My one I was trying to find a a good beginner's guide esque game, and this is similar, but beginner's guide is still better. I made a video about beginner's guide like two years ago or something. Still a good video. I still love it. Um, I got very personal with it, which I kind of had to. Um, I got I think I got personal with this video too. Oh, oh, I also love the timestamps that I did. I separated out in chapters, and I never do that. But I think with this video, it helped so much because that's literally what the game did. So in editing, I was just going to follow it. it. It just it made life easier, and it was fun. Plus, like, for longer videos, I like to do uh, timestamps. I didn't for my uh, high swap video. I was going to, but then I didn't because I was like, it's kind of like one long, you know, talk instead of just, like, these segments. But yeah, no, that's all I have to say. It was good. And then, and then, oh boy, crystals. I, I don't like crystals. I, it was a good experiment. I'm not going to lie, but I don't like crystals. Uh, I think it took, took away, um, some opportunities for me. Cause now I made a bunch of videos about people right in the crystal series. And now I feel like I can't make normal videos about them. Cause I already made a crystal video about them, which is stupid because this was so many months ago, and people have forgotten all of the crystals at this point, right? Because for me, I was so sick and tired of, like, I guess, views or whatever. I don't, I don't even remember why. It was just, like, I was kind of... No, it was upload schedule. I wanted to upload more on my channel, so I decided, oh, let's upload daily. And I regret that. I regret uploading daily, and I never want to do it again. Because my quality suffered so much. And I hated it. This should have been, this should have been a side channel thing. But instead, I was like, hey, let's put it on the main channel, which I hate. I wish I didn't do that, quite honestly. No, I, and I'm still not at 4,000 hours, bro. Oh, that's, I was, yeah, I explained it in like the intro, which is like 10 minutes. But no, so my entire channel were these videos, right? And then I was like, and then one of, not one of my friends. I'd say one of my YouTube acquaintances saw my channel and he's like, oh, I'll subscribe. But he only saw like this huge catalog of like crystals. And I didn't like that. And I was like, oh, so I unlisted all of the videos except for this uh, compilation video because I didn't want to like full on delete crystals because it's history. And I think it was important to my to the creativity of my channel long term, you know. It was it was a thing that happened and i acknowledge that so i didn't want to delete it so i was like okay i'll keep the compilation video up and then link the playlist of all of them um and the playlist dude honestly i think i got so many like views uh through the series i'm not gonna lie some of these videos have like hundreds of views and that's really cool stat wise i was doing good i was balling boy but I wasn't happy creatively, so I stopped because I'm like, this is not fun anymore. I don't know. It just wasn't creatively fulfilling. It felt too much like an interview slash documentary, and that's not what I was going for, you know? I guess in a weird way, in a weird way, uh, since I didn't do it this year, right? I usually make a YouTubers I'm thankful for video once a year, and that never happened. So the series ended up kind of being this, you know? So in a weird way, I kind of did uh, YouTubers I'm thankful for. If that's the case, let me add it in my, uh, not best, where is it? There, there we go, I'll add it to that. I didn't think about that whatsoever. But yeah, no, it was, it was, uh, it's an interesting watch. It's a more chill watch. It was a way for me to experiment with non-scripted content because I am very much a writer. I love to write scripts, but the constant thing I got from my friends was, it's like, oh, this isn't you. It's like, well, yeah, it is. But my main videos are if I were to give a TED talk on something and prevent it and not prevent it, present it in a flow that is very natural because I've thought about the words I'm saying because I wrote them down. And I, I like I like that version of me. I'm not going to lie. Like, there are a lot of different versions of me on the internet, right? 
and that's not a bad thing right like i've come to the point where i've acknowledged that like there's different versions of me you know there's like the tired me there's like the the hyped up energy yo let's get done with work like i don't know i feel like a lot of people have different sides and nobody really like, acknowledges that um so i've come to the terms that like my main channel you know is a lot more analytical it's a lot more hyped up energy wise because people want to see that anyways whereas this channel is a lot more laid back and like you get to know me more so than um master eth right so it's like i think i've come to the terms that master eth has kind of become this weird thing where it's like it's still me but it's a me that is scripted and a me that I've thought about every single word I've said, which I don't normally do. And it's a me that is more entertaining in my opinion because I'm trying to say jokes and whatnot, you know? Whereas this channel is more laid back, more like interview-esque. You'll get, you'll get Ethan, right? Maybe I should just name this channel to Ethan. I don't even know at this point. But yeah, you know, I think, I think that's the thing. I've come to terms with it. It's like, that's a constant thing my friends say, you know? Or at least some of them uh, but no it's because I want to write you know I love writing and I, so I write my scripts and I think my my videos are better because I write my scripts that was the one thing I didn't like crystals because I I love scripted content me specifically um, and I think some people resonate with that at, at the very least but not everybody does some people like to watch among us let's play that's fine I really don't but uh I think I've ranted long enough. I think you get the gist of what I'm saying at this point. But yeah, that I like scripted content. This wasn't scripted, so therefore I didn't like it. But it was a good experiment for me to push myself, even though I didn't really want to. I think that's what I learned. It's like, excuse me, hey, I need to push myself creatively. And so I'm gonna do that by not scripting anything and going off the cuff. And I think for the most part, it, it ended up, it was okay. You know, I got a lot of views. I got, a, got a lot of new subscribers, that was cool, but I wasn't fulfilled creatively, so I stopped and I was like, I don't like this anymore. I just don't. I just don't. So we're moving on. Bounty Battle, this is a very uh, controversial video. I went into this not knowing any reviews, right? So I was extremely objective. I didn't look at any reviews until the video was done. I avoided reviews and spoilers like the plague, right? And I made that very clear in this video. But people are like, oh, this is bad. And I'm like, you aren't understanding the point of this video. There are a lot of situations with this video, right? Where there were bad reviews, right? But the but look, they played it for not even an hour, right? So that was the one thing. I played this game for like 20 hours, right? Everybody else played it for less than an hour. So it's like, I understand the game fully. I understand what it's going for and I feel like not a lot of people did I understood that it was a way for the developers to try something new ish on the genre on the fighting game genre and I understand that some of it worked, some of it didn't and that's totally fine this game was delayed a lot of times and I think that's why people were upset people were expecting way more especially because of the budget behind it and I think that was the other thing but I think if we're talking purely from a gameplay perspective, which is what I was doing, it's it's a, it's a decent game. Uh, it's a fun game to play with friends. Have I played this game since the video came out? No, because I never play games past uh, when I publish a video. I'm just, because I'm so done with the game at that point. It doesn't matter what game it is. I'm like, I never want to see this again. So also in this video, the reason this has so many views is because it was a current topic at the time. And also I got some YouTube buddies the voice, the reviews. We got Papa Sage, good boy. Zenny, good boy. Mega Mitch, Cordwit. Cordwit's blown up recently, so that's cool to see. Uh, James Miller, Technicals. I love Technicals, dude. Uh, Andrew Miller, Internet Unwind, Bagel Gabe, Gabe TYJ, Mateo, or Mateoism. Check out all these people. I, I love these people to death. They're great. I love their content. I appreciate what they do. And yeah, no, it's 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 a fun time. So that was that was a fun thing, and I think that's why it has uh, more than one K, because it had uh, so many people collaborating. I don't know. I thought I, I made my point clear, but then people on Reddit were like, "You suck," and I'm like, "Okay, well, that's Reddit for you." And now Chuzzle. Okay, this video specifically. This video was in editing for literally three months, right? 
and I'm not 100% sure why, and I, I'm trying to remember, but it was something with life stuff, health stuff maybe? Maybe it was health stuff. I think it was health stuff that I was dealing with, like, health-wise, duh. It's either that or I was like overwhelmed. Yeah, so I think I recorded uh, this at the time of Oneros and then I got sidetracked with Bounty Battle. I think that's what happened, but no, I like I like the, the unique-ish editing with this. Uh, it's different and I wanted to do that because I wanted a different style for Chuzzle because I already did the normal sit down, I already did the green screen, so I'm like, okay, how can we like how can I be a character in this world? And I'm like, oh, let's be some Sherlockian character trying to investigate. Because halfway through the video, like, I go into, like, the, uh, the, not the Reddit, the Discord server? Or at least, uh, like a third of the way through. Like, I look through the Discord server. And then I email the developers. And then I actually talk to the developer for, like, half the video. So, in a way, it's like an interview. And, yeah, no, it ended up being very interesting, for sure. I, I was I was more interested in the research of this video than like actually um, editing it and actually I remember like I was really struggling to edit this video and I'm trying to remember why I think I was just feeling sad I think I was depressed for like a week I think this is because I couldn't like bring myself to do anything but no I think the end product uh, while it's not exactly what I wanted it's like I had to be done with this project and it, like it did good view wise too. I don't know why, but my chisel videos have like 2k views. So I guess the chisel community likes it. So I don't know. It was, it was an interesting, I don't think I'm ever going to do the Sherlockian thing again, unless I have no clue. Cause I was trying to be a character in a world. I'm like, how can you be a character in a chisel world? And I'm like, well, I guess I'll just be some Sherlockian detective because there were a lot of questions that were unanswered that I was literally waiting. Now I know I know that I that in this video right, it says this. I this is like my favorite portion of the video where it's like, now now you see how it says days right? I literally waited this amount of days. Like this is not an exaggeration. This is what people don't realize. I literally waited for this these this amount of days before I got like an email back. Like this isn't an exaggeration. I waited ten days. And then they finally hit me back, like, and then nobody realizes that, but yeah, that's literally what happened. And then the whole interview thing. I wanted to try to, to keep it chill, but I also wanted to add these portions so that way there's something going on in editing, because I didn't want this the entire time, so I had to do this, and I feel like it made the interview, like, a little bit better. Now, this, this is, this is the turning point for my channel, which I'm super excited about, because, one, this is a Gems of the Internet, but it is not a normal Gems of the Internet. And two, it's a gems of the internet. Everybody loves gems of the internet, you know? Three, this this was a turning point in my channel because like I started doing the green screen wall thing right here. See, here, let me, let me show you, right? Green screen wall, right there. That's, that's the thing, right? Honestly, I love this. Uh, it makes me stand out. I love it. Recording is now actually fun which it never used to be. Recording used to be my least favorite thing. Now it's one of my favorite things because now I get to like pop around and like I, I keep moving back and forth because I want to try to keep the viewer engaged. And I think it works. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I also, because of chimps of the internet, I have to add a uh, fire background. 2021, it's going to be this. I love this style. And I think I finally found my style, right? That's what I, that's what I think. And I'm really happy with it because I, I think it's unique. I think it's unique enough where I stand out and I love it. And I think it's, I think it's good, you know? And then also for my streams, I want to utilize this green screen. So I'm also going to do that at, uh, at, on this, on this channel, on the side channel. Cause I'm going to stream to this channel, not Twitch, Frick Twitch. Uh, but yeah, no, but like, also besides me being a narcissist and all or run. Orc Run. The video is about Orc Run, not about me. Um, Orc Run is like literally the best streamer ever. He literally runs uh, for charity in this Orc costume. And I think that alone is just amazing. And I had to make a video about him. He is a gem of the internet. Unironically, he is a gem of the internet. Not even saying that. He, he does good stuff. I'm very, very proud of you, Orc Run. I'm not just saying that. I don't even know if you watch my stuff, but I'm very freaking proud of you, dude. 
it's so cool what he does and he do it's a lot of work and time and effort and sometimes he only gets three hours of sleep and he still runs 10k like what the frick dude this guy is a madman i love him to death he's so great oh my gosh i found this guy on reddit and i never go on reddit but I went on Reddit one time, and he was the top streamer on Reddit. And I'm like, what the frick, dude? This guy's incredible. Start a research right there. That That's gems of the internet. When I see something, and I'm like, what? Gems of the internet right there. Easy candidate. This guy was a, the easiest candidate ever. There is so much technical stuff going into the stream, it's ridiculous. He's literally a coder. Otherwise, there's no way this would actually work. Oh, like, oh, I love him. He's my favorite streamer by far anyways yeah no he's great oh and also with this video i fixed it right so now this no longer falls down but in this video uh i i i had it i had it okay i had it duct taped right i had it duct taped to my window so this will fall down right yeah this held down and that's because i was holding it up by duct tape right and then i kept talking like okay whatever and i think that was funny i had to leave that in and then and then i was like okay my battery's dying i'm dying mentally because i've been i've been recording for a while and i kind of want to be done so i was like okay uh fast moves we're gonna do this now i'm never gonna do this again because i don't like it all that much i think it's cool the reason i did this is because of that like i was running out of battery and out of time and i was like okay we're just gonna switch things up because it would, it, I would try to put it back up here and I'm like, this is taking too long. So we're just going to put it on my bed and it kind of works. And if I want to do something new, but not, I'll just do that. You know, if I get sick and tired of the, the window, then I'll just put the green screen around my bed. And I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like it. It actually kind of worked quite well. Yeah, I was very uncomfy there. But yeah, no, like I think using the green screen in unconventional ways is really, really fun just in general and yeah no I, I think it ended up working well so i think all i have to do is just use green screen in wacky ways and then people are like wow that's cool <laughs> i like this uh that was funny i already talked about him for 13 minutes go watch the freaking video uh this is my favorite video of this year honestly because one it's a gems of the internet two it changed the gems of the internet style so i think it's a lot better now i think this is my favorite video of this year i think this is the best video i've ever made and then we have the hive swap video. And why is this not my favorite video ever made? I don't know. I really don't know because it has twice the views of the orc run video. I think objectively orc run is is more in like interesting than hive swap. So there's that. I don't know. Like this is a good video and this is like literally like my longest video, right? And it was good. I liked it. It was a good project and it took me a while and it should have come out sooner, right? Than it did. It was supposed to come out in like early early uh december but it came out the middle of december because i was having health problems let's freaking go not really so i missed out on a lot of views it's whatever though i'm done with this project which is good um i'm very happy with it hive swap did not uh reach out to me what pumpkin did not reach out to me i could have had a review key but i missed that opportunity so that's why i was also mad i was like well i i also did a thing did anybody recognize the the shirt thing based on the hierarchy that's that's a thing yeah there was a reason why i wore different colored shirts because the train has a hierarchy all right no nope, now you know it was i had to go through the full story simply because there was a lot uh in detail that i had to talk about specifically story wise and had i had to compare it between the two because i'm like there was so much like lore wise that i had to talk about where it's like there's no way i can avoid spoilers i just can't right but in, the, in this project that i'm working on now i don't really think there's a story so i can be a lot more like general and i i don't have to be like as specific which is kind of nice uh which will be a very different from this one but it'll be good either way uh because i'm in the middle of research on that i literally had to stop research to to do this look back of 2020 video but yeah it was really fun i like i like i had a recording session of this video for like six hours straight and the reason it took so long is because and i even addressed it in this video and i was like i literally was like visually frustrated because like i was recording for like six hours because i kept having to stop because of camera battery but but now but now i have another battery so now i no longer have to rush recording which will make recording better but yeah no i love this video it's great i'm this was the perfect way to end off the year 30 minute video 30 minute banger let's freaking go <laughs> zebra i think zebra made the video cut honestly uh i am very sad 
that that nobody canceled zebra on twitter i was hoping for like one or two people to say hashtag cancel zebra but nobody did so i was like okay whatever i was also expecting more views on the video but hey you know it's it's an older fandom so i'm still happy with the views i got um not gonna lie thank you for supporting my content uh i, I tried a lot this year i tried a lot of new things and i finally found my style i'm gonna continue the orc run hive swap style because i love it so freaking much it makes me stand out and i love it and it's great and i'm gonna keep doing that in 2021 all year I'm gonna do that style i love it it's great i hope i stick to it because and i hope i stand out because of it because i have really really good feelings about 2021 there's a lot of good things are gonna happen in 2021 i know for a fact right in my personal life creativity i know it i feel it right it's gonna be it's gonna be good I'm, I'm very I'm very excited uh, for next year creatively and personally it's gonna be a lot of changes hopefully I'll move out of this house I don't know I'm, I'm just excited I'm excited for for next year and I appreciate all of you for watching even this far because we're at like the 40 minute mark I don't even know if I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably gonna have to edit this at least a little bit to kind of cut it down but yeah this was uh, Mastery 2020 Rewind and yeah thank you for watching so much thank you so much for supporting my creativity i i, I don't know ooh, emotional i um th there are times where it feels very lonely especially when you feel like the personal and personal friends in your life your close friends don't really fully understand what you're doing and i appreciate that all of you understand what i'm doing i'm trying to show people how good indie projects are and then get them to consume said indie products because they're so good like instead of focusing on the negative i i want to focus on the positive and i love doing that because we need more of that on the internet anyways so i so i love doing that you know reason i haven't blown up yet is because i'm not a commentary channel i don't want to talk about the bad everybody's already doing that i'd rather focus on the good because we need that too thank you for supporting my content even still Thank you for being very supportive with my experimental nature, especially over this year. Like, my goodness, I have switched so many styles this year. How have you not have left yet? <laughs> I'm so shocked. And if you're watching on the side channel, that means you probably at least care about me somewhat. So I appreciate that for even subscribing to the side channel. If you subscribe to the channel, you side channel, you probably watch the streams. So thank you so much for doing a stream on Friday. Probably going to do Jackbox and it's going to be fun. We're going to do some community game. We're going to do some really fun community games in 2021. It's going to be fun. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much. Join the Discord server for sure. Uh, I want to do a lot more community type beat stuff next year, especially like with the Discord server. So be sure to join that. Oh, I don't know. I'm excited to go to the next chapter of my life, you know, it's going to be great. And yeah, that's it. I guess see you in 2021.